What can I say about water? If I knew nothing about modern science and today's elements, instead of saying water was two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen held together by a covalent bond mixed with trace amounts of various minerals, I would probably say that water is a life force. We are made of it. We are cleansed by it. It is the will of the universe or the divine or some unknown circumstance of coincidence that this substance flows through the earth and feeds our plants and quenches our thirsts. It runs through our bodies and pads our joints and this clear and perfect liquid is the reason we are alive. But I found another quote in the alchemy book I've been reading this week, uh, written in 1898 by Pernity, and he has another perspective to add. He said, Water is really the cause of the revolutions, the disorder, the tumult, and that it is the cause of as many misfortunes as benefits. And maybe this is true. Water can keep us alive, but it can also drown us. Although it seems the elements keep one another in check. Water can put out a fire, but fire can also evaporate water. Water can dilute the earth, but earth can also thicken water. Alchemy is famous for its symbolism and incorporation of astronomy and even astrology. The planets were named after gods and goddesses, and phenomena were attributed to the planets, the sun, and the moon. The hot, bright orange sun was associated with fire, and the cold gray moon associated with water. The moon was thought to affect things like your health or even your personality depending on what phase of the moon you were born on but that's tending more towards astrology. The thing about the moon and the classical element water that's most interesting is the concept of tides. Medieval alchemists understood that the moon had an effect on the tides, but their explanations of why they weren't quite right. Their hypothesis was proven though when Sir Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation in the 17th century showed that it was gravity that connected the moon and water. Stay tuned everyone, Alchemy Week continues with another classical element tomorrow. I'm excited to talk to you about Earth. Element a day in May.